Hey everybody, this is Adam from Newmark. Uh, I've got my Mixtrack Pro controller, just taking it out of the box. And in my hand is the included uh, software disc for Serato DJ Intro. So I'm going to pop the disc in. You'll see Microsoft's uh, built-in autoplay feature for recognizing the disc. Uh, and we can go ahead and click the Run Auto Run feature right there. And here you'll see uh, two options with the Serato DJ intro. We, there's the PDF manual for the software, uh, which you can click and review. And then we want to run the installer to install the program. So go ahead and click that. And here we have the setup wizard for DJ intro. Click next. Use your license agreement. Peruse if you wish. Uh, we want to mark the option to accept the agreement. Click the next button. It'll ask you where you want to install the program. Uh, the default location is your program files folder. Uh, click next and right here it'll ask if you want to create a desktop icon. I do recommend that as the program will be a little bit easier to find right here on your desktop. Uh, click the next button and here's a review of everything that you have set up here. We'll click the install button. Once it's finished uh, you'll have a check mark box uh, indicating if you want to launch DJ Intro as soon as we click the Finish button, and we do, uh, so we will. So once installation is complete, you'll notice the DJ Intro icon over here on your desktop. You can go ahead and double-click that to launch the software. And here we have Serato DJ Intro right up there on the screen. Now, at first you'll notice this blinking hazard sign here, uh, indicating that hardware is disconnected. Now, I have not connected my Mixtrack Pro just yet. But I've got the USB cable in hand, and I'm going to connect that to my computer. And immediately we have lights coming up on the controller, and you'll see that DJ Intro configures itself automatically to the controller that you have connected. And now you're ready to start DJing.